G'day gang game, Olio Danny here. How you going? We're back in the Neverwinter. I was gonna say Dungeons and Dragons, which wouldn't have been wrong, right? But anyway, um, Neverwinter. Yeah, we just came out of there, out of the Sage's shop. We learned how to uh, enchant, I guess. Uh, oh, we also have this thing. Maybe I, did I not see that last episode? New level up box, Adventurers Reward 3. Your Adventurers Ward 3 contained a reward of rare quality. The Adventurers Reward 4? Is that... <laughs> is that the next one? Which requires level 20? Okay. Done. Done. Done zone. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, here we go. Take rewards. Yep, choose a task. Um, well. Alchemy. Leatherworking. I think I was going to go for leatherworking, right? Leatherworking and weapon smithing, perhaps, if I can make myself a cool bow. What are these rewards like? There's a bow right there. Okay. So, I might do that. Final results. Skinner. Start the task. Three, two, one, and a go. Collected. Collect my Skinner. Okay. So I can send this guy out. And the other one is uh, weaponsmithing. Here we go. Let's hire a smelt. Wait. A smelter? Oh, actually, you know what? How do I... I mean, these two might not go together. He is a smelter. And there's nothing here about mining. So maybe he just goes and gets all the items that I need to put these things together. Iron weapon blades. Oh, well, let's just give it a crack. See what, see what happens. Start the task. Collect the results. Got a smelter now. So I can send this guy out. Maybe I'll just send him out for a six hour mission. I don't really want to keep clicking on it every couple of seconds. So optional assets, optional permanent assets that may be selected for additional bonuses. I have nothing. Okay. Get out there, do your thing. Now. I can only go for one at a time because I've only got one open. Right, so I can... Even though I've got three, I need to unlock all these. So at level 60, I should be able to send out another dude. Get any profession to level three. Okay, and that may also unlock one. So I could either go by this or... I guess by, by unlocking professions. Alright, cool. Now, what were we up to? Yes, so I keep getting this here. I keep getting the, the masquerade things come up again, hasn't it? It just keeps coming up. I've got no way of abandoning it. I'm going to have to write a note down and see if I can somehow just get rid of that because it's driving me nuts. Uh, so we've got assembling the future. Assemble the uh, orb quadrant. That's right, we're assembling quadrants, weren't we? Um, what was the button to get back to that? Here we go. Take reward. And we'll do another one, do the next one. Okay, so that, that'll go on for uh, 15 minutes. So we don't have to worry about these two. Let's go and see what this one is. Retake the hall.
That's in the Tau district. See if we can get back there. See if I can find my way to the Tower District. I think, I think it was down here. It's not actually pointing me the way to the place. Tower District. Yep, let's go there. Seems I have some business to attend to out of the Tower District. I think I've got another quest there too. No, just this one. Okay. There may have been one that I missed out on. Each adventure zone contains a unique contest. Stronghold PvP. Finish a stronghold match while vent is active. Okay. That sounds interesting. Oh, we're gonna go back out there. So it must have been one that we just missed out on. It's either that or I was focused on getting back, so I wanted to uh to do that, so that's okay. Folks, if you've been enjoying the series so far, please let me know. It certainly, it helps me sort of decide if I can see a little bit of engagement. Um, decide to which series to continue to come back to. I'm playing a whole bunch of MMOs at the same time. But I do take rest between uh, at certain parts. But yeah, continue to let me know. Let me know if you like, like the series. Good to know. Good to get that feedback. Alright. Orc. Orc Drudge. Nice. Alright, let's go. Got an orc. Oh, dude's jumping from the top. Down you go. Some boots, parrying boots. And also, let me know if you'd be interested in playing. Like, I want to... I'm at the moment, I'm sort of looking at creating a YouTube gaming stream in the near future. And I'll probably be playing sort of a mixture of whatever I stream. So it'd be a good chance, if there's enough interest, I suppose, that we can... Do some dungeons or, you know, just general, generally roaming around. Doing things of that nature. Come on, axe thrower. Oh, <laughs> you're on the ground, mate. You guys are done. Oh, another one. Sneaky axe thrower. Oh, on fire! Dungeoneering skill. Oh! No sir, mate. No way. Ah. Just 
trying to take a look at these blades. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the blades that I picked up. The way that they look. But as long as things die, I suppose that's all that counts, right? Oh, oh. What's going on with that light? Restoring blades. The fallen banner. Clearly, the Lord Protector is not popular here. Cryptic Studios. Greetings, Game Olio Dan. Congratulations on your recent victories in Neverwinter. Now that you've reached level 15, you've unlocked an exciting new feature. The Foundry. The Foundry places you in the role of the Dungeon Master, allowing you to create your own map. What? Maps and quests until- Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that about the quests before. In the Forgotten Realms, let your imagination run wild. To access the Foundry, you must first select or enter the Foundry on the character select screen. From here, you can start creating custom modules for others to play and enjoy. The author community is truly rich with like-minded players like you that are eager to help you out on your quest to become a legendary dungeon master. Nice, okay. Yeah, this is quite unique. I've never sort of seen anything like this before. Whoops. I mean, not in an official sense. I, I have seen, you know, players role-playing quests and, you know, say, oh, go, yes, go and get these items from this person for me. That's a question. I will reward you with cash. Which is quite fun. Mate, how can you even fit through this? You can't fit through this archway. You can't fit through here, mate. That's right, you can't. I like it. He can't move. I gotcha. All the way down, mate. All the way down. Sounded like... Oh, it was coming from behind. Done, done, done. Crack it open. Have a look. Some ident unidentified items. Interact with that. Slamming. What's that dude doing on the crates? Oh, car talk pain giver. Oh, car talk. I'll be giving the pain today, mate. You die now. Oh, he can go through the archway. Let me get your ads first. You gonna chase us down? He's got a flurry there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. move, 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 move. Bam! That actually did a nice, decent amount of damage there. Oh, by the way, folks, do you, do people, I mean, does anybody here that's watching this, do you play Dungeons and Dragons, like the, the tabletop? 
Like, I'm very new to all this, and in fact, I haven't done any of it, really. So... Retake the Guildhall complete. But... I, uh, I wouldn't mind giving it a crack, and I'm just wondering where I should start out. I bought a board game called Dungeon recently, and I'm playing that with my son, and it's it's quite, you know, I guess it's fairly simple. Uh, it took me a while to read the instruction, though. <laughs> but it's quite fun, and I'll play it with my son, and he enjoys it. But yeah, going forward, I wouldn't mind playing a few more, and I guess getting more into it. I'm just trying, kind of wondering where I should begin. But anyway... Congratulations, adventurer. Your valiant efforts have proven victorious. Not of savagery. Uh, yeah, 130 maximum hit points. Ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Let's, uh, let's pop that on. Nice, we're gonna have to go and do something about all this, these items we have here. Um, so we got piercing, which gives me 26 armor pen. This has 29 defense. This has 16, 16 deflection and 50 life steal. Uh, this is what we were mucking around with, with that lady, enchanting. Man cleaver, which we can't use. This is unidentified, but it's also a scourge warlock item. All right, let's get out of here. I don't can't stand the the buzzing. Those damn flies. Let's get out. This is now complete and we can go hand that in. And at the same time, we'll have to make some sales. Power is knowledge. All right. Uh, yes, Captain. Watch your back. The enemy is well done. Defeating Kartok will be a huge setback to the Orc advance. Carry on. Spying the cloak tower. You've proven invaluable in our struggle against the Orcish threat. Now it's time to take the fight to the heart of the enemy. Our scouts found a path to the cloak tower through a wall breach to the southeast. Follow the path east and meet with Private Quickfoot. Then through the breach to meet with Scout Galen. They'll brief you on the next tasks. All right. Well, my next next task is actually to make some sales, mate. Lighten the load here. Sell all the treasures. Um, alright, so we will get rid of that. Restoring hide armor 36. Reviving belt. Vital belt, get rid of that. That one there, this one here. Uh, longbow. So we have the one that's level 33. This one's item level 42. Does 62 to 76, same as the one we have right now. Has less power. So we're going to sell a U. Restoring blades. Yeah, we'll sell that too. 362. It's got a little thing on there that says recommend it. 362 maximum hit points. Plus 5 AC, plus 33 defense. I guess it's better in all respects. It's not green, but this one... Actually, you know what we should do? Yep, so let's sell... Let's finish up with that. For now, and I'll... Let's do a little bit of mucking around here. Smiting braces, 37 power, 13 defense, 
Let's pop that on. Pop that on. Yep. The bards will sing our glory. Cost to change is 19 of these. I got zero of those ago, so we can't even do that anyway. And it looks like it's exactly the same, so forget about that. Um. Alright, we've got a few more things we can identify. Except it does say it requires level 12, so I don't even know if that's worthwhile identifying. I mean, the only reason... It is green, so that way I can... Uh, I guess disenchant it or convert it. Convert. Like this one here, we'll select that. Convert that. Reviving armor. Parrying boots recommended. Is it? Recommended? Really? If it's a higher level, it's got 22 defense and 28, 58 deflection, I guess, I guess so. Gives me something else to uh, disenchant, I guess. Or convert to refinement points, rather. What else we got here? I mean, maybe I should identify these, so that way... Let's have a look. If it's not identified, can I still convert it? No. Okay, so it needs to be identified before I can convert. Convert all those. Very good. Protecting amulet. 23 defense. Well, I should put that on. Yep. And this one over here, and we'll sell those. Piercing ring. I'm gonna sell that too. Identify that. Cruel Ring, 29. Oh, 29 critical strike. Maybe I should have that. History is our greatest teacher. Cruel Ring. Okay. Now, let's convert some more. There's probably a, there's probably a way of just select them all in one go, right? Okay, so we got a few more of those, good. We'll talk to you, we'll sell the rest. Get rid of all that. I don't know about this yet. Uh, I mean, if I can change the, the enhancements, or the enchantment, rather. Right, well, anyway, we'll leave it now. That's a lot cleaner than before. I'll just pop that over there. I've still got a 
chest that I can crack open. Alright, so, let's move. Let's ride. A little bit faster, please. Come on, mate. Need to get this horse a little bit... Increase that speed. Private quick foot. Keep your weapon handy. 